Hi guys, welcome to Melbourne Mom Blog. Today I am actually here to um, talk about how, uh, how I started creating a routine for Mikhail. Um, this is a very frequent question that I get asked and I thought why not um, just come here and talk to you guys about it and share what um, what has worked for me and uh, what I did um, to you know help me achieve the results that I alhamdulillah have today. So basically, um, see, when your baby is newborn, it's very hard to create a routine. So trying to create a routine from the day they're born, it's impossible. So don't even bother trying. Um, we had issues, you know, in the beginning because Mikhail was very colic and he just used to cry all the time. So we couldn't do any routine. And then when we traveled in between uh, from four months to seven months for four months, we we were not here. So we were traveling. So there was no point of us creating a solid routine. But we had a proper routine for bedtime, even when he was like, I think, about two months old. What I did in that time was simply just, um, you know, create a nighttime routine. So every second um, day, I will give him a bath, massage him, put him into his PJs, wrap him and feed him to sleep. That's what worked for me. So I used to feed him to sleep and that's it. And after that, whenever he used to wake up, we will still be in the room and I will um, give him, you know, uh, I'll feed him again and then just put him back to sleep. So I never used to come out of the room um, and take him out or play with him, no. So from 8 p.m. till 8 in the morning, we used to be in the room so that he can know the difference between day and night. Um, that worked for us really well so that when he was growing up, he knew that, you know, now it's sleep time. He never used to get up between the nights and want to play, no. He just used to have milk and go back to sleep. Um, when I started creating the sleep routine was when we came back from overseas. He was seven months and instantly as soon as we landed, we started creating the routine. So what I did was, you know, um, have his books, um, have a bath and of course change into pajamas. So what I did was I started off by giving him milk half an hour uh, before we would take a bath. That's when I wanted to stop the feet to sleep because it's not good for your kids when they are growing up. They associate with it and they want to have a bottle or milk uh, before they, while they're lying in their bed. It can cause, uh, it can, you know, choke them. It can also, it's it's basically a SIDS, um, a big SIDS um, as well. Um, apart from that, um, it also is not good for their teeth. It can cause tooth decay. Um, so basically, I used to give him milk half an hour before he would go for bath. Um, and then I would give him bath in a nice warm um, hot water, uh, nice warm water, actually not even hot. Um, and we will go into um, the room, change into pajamas and read him a book and then put him down in his cot. Now, this was all, of course, while we were sleep training him and creating the routine at the same time. Um, and doing this from an early age is really good because that way you don't have to struggle when they grow up. So it all happens very smoothly if you do it from a younger age. Some kids will resist. Um, and at three months old or four months old, it is hard to create a routine, but you have to stick to it to see the results in the coming months. Because see, up to four months, your baby can be colic or can have any other issues because they're still getting used to the world. So if they are still crying or not happy about the nighttime, it's fine, but just keep doing it. Because after their colic finishes, after four months roughly, you will be thankful for what you did. You will be so grateful for them knowing that it's sleep time and they have to go to sleep. Um, this is how I created routine. Apart from that, during daytime, yes, Mikhail still had a routine. So as soon as Mikhail would wake up, our wake up time would be around 7, 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. And as soon as he would wake up, um, the first thing I would do is give him a feed. Uh, or uh, once I stopped feeding, which was at nine months, I stopped 
feeding him um, and I stopped with giving him a morning feed. Um, so we would get up and have breakfast um, and then after that around 12 o'clock will be his lunch time and around 6 p.m. is his dinner time and we are still following that routine very well thank god um, he still has his breakfast between 7 8 a.m um, he'll have his dinner between 11 30 12 p.m and his dinner will be now between 5 to 6 p.m um, it's going well for us it is really good to create a routine because that way they know what is coming up for them they are not surprised or shocked. They know that it's bath time. They know that it's bedtime now. They know that it's lunch time. Um, and, you know, um, every morning we will change Mikhail from his PJs into his, you know, his, his, his normal wear at home. And when we're going to bed, we will change him again. So that also creates that association between, um, you know, your bedtime and your morning time. And that's what... Uh, tells them that now it's morning time so we have to get out of our PJs. PJs are only for night time. Um, so do that and of course read books. It's Or if you don't want to read books, maybe just you know sit down with them and tell them a story and then put them down to bed because it's nice to have that winding down time with your kid before the day ends and you put them to bed. It's nice to cuddle up and give them kisses and bond with them at that time because that's the quality time when nobody is interrupting you. And that's how I created uh, the sleep routine and or any routine that we have today for Mikhail. He is, uh, the way he is right now is I think it's simply because of the routines that we have created for him. Um, may it also be while, you know, when he would get up, we would talk a lot. Like I would literally just sit and talk to my child in the morning. I had nobody to talk to. I was by myself. So this was an opportunity for me to connect with him. And that is why now in the morning when he gets up, he wants to have a conversation first before he gets into his P uh, get out of his PJs and start the day. Um, and even when we are changing into our pajamas and putting on body uh, body lotion um, on, you know, because I do that because he's eczema. So I like to put uh, moisturizer on his entire body after a bath. Um, and even while doing that, we will have a chat. We will say, what did you do all day? What did you, you know, learn from today? Um, did you have a good day? Are you grateful for what you have been given? So things like that, you know. And that also speeds up their, their skills of talking, their skills of communication. They pick up on words really quickly. Um, so there are advantages, you know, to routines and everything so it's up to you of course you do what works for you um, and if you want to create a routine just to have a peace of mind to have that time off for yourself do it there's nothing wrong and people will judge you people will say stuff um, you know don't don't worry because in the end you are the one to look after your child and you're there you you know them best so yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed with this. Um, let me know what you think. I, um, you know, like I get these questions a lot, so I thought I'll just come and talk about it. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Thank you. Bye.